My name is Jordan Sekatawa, and in this podcast, I'm going to talk about a topic that's quite sensitive. And I am not in any way suggesting that this is the end or be all. And I'm not suggesting that this is a solution, but just mere opinions that you that might lead you to a certain way of thinking that maybe lead you to the answers that you're looking for. Um, I talk to so many people and um, especially us as Africans, we have a tendency to not bring up things that happened in the past because we really want to keep them in the past, which is sometimes hurting us because we don't keep them in the past. You know, something happened to you or someone treated you a certain way and you said, you know what, I forgive them. I moved on. It's done. I'm gone. But every so often it comes back to you or you say it out to somebody else, uh, whether that's a family member, an aunt or parent that treated you in a way that made you feel, you know, some way about yourself, made you feel negative about yourself. So you said, all right, you know, it is what it is. I moved on. I'm gone. I forgive them. But you keep bringing it back. If it keeps coming back, it means that it was not fully addressed. So one thing that i want to bring forth in this podcast is to i want you guys to understand something right there is a level of understanding that doesn't require knowing and that's empathy empathy is understanding without necessarily knowing and accepting without accepting without fully understanding or having information but you accept it um, because many times I see that young people today um, that grew up in Africa that now live in the diaspora or even live you know back in their home countries they find that the parenting styles that their parents used led them to to become something that they may not be proud of let them to become people that you know harbor anger or people that aren't able to communicate very well because maybe they were shut down as young kids and maybe they were never given uh, a voice. They were never allowed to speak. Um, so they realize this They realize this now as adults, but they don't know how to address it. And many times with Africans, you know, we have the tendency of just, you know, keeping quiet. But if something is keeps coming back, how do you deal with that? Like, how do you how do you address something that happened to you and just actually move on and say, you know what, I am actually moving on. And by moving on is, is to completely accept that it happened and be sympathetic. And one thing that, that we forget, a lot of times we require things from people that, people that are incapable of giving us the things that we want. One time a friend of mine told me a story. Um, he went back to to uh to the village in the countryside um in the school holidays to live with his aunt um now his aunt was you know very successful she had a you know large piece of land and a house and you know goats and chickens so she was very successful but she was a, she was single she didn't have a husband um and um when when he when my friend went went to live over there for you know for just a couple of weeks she was always so bitter with him and she it's not like she didn't love him she actually liked liked him a lot but she was so bitter and she and now this guy you know grows up and realizes that this lady just did not have any love because if you look back into her story her parents were never loving parents and she had a bad divorce and she's just not someone that that's in the moment capable to love others because she might not even be in a place to love herself so a lot of times i find that we have to understand people's positions and before we go out there and throw in judgment you have to first look into someone's life if you're requiring if you're requiring someone to love you first of all can are they loving themselves were they ever shown what love is were they ever given a place to you know to speak out and and be themselves and if that wasn't the case then you have you have to understand that those people may not be in that position to love you the way that you want to be loved 
and that is one of the things that is just killing us when we are just not able to understand that some people are just not in a position to give you what you want and what you have to do is to be sympathetic to be able to understand without having all the facts and to be able to say you know what i see what i see and i know what's going on here and if you are able to help help them if you're not able to help them find find them the help that they need but a lot of times with africans we have completely failed to deal with past experiences that could have been traumatic and every time that you bring this conversation up on uh, on social media it's it's we have this you know tough guy mentality and to show that everything is fine a lot of times everything is not fine so if something happened to you really i want you to take that in mind are you able to understand without having all the details are you able to give them the benefit of the doubt and be like you know what it happened the way it happened i was not the problem okay so you're not the problem you have to get rid of you know take yourself out of the equation as the problems uh, maker but you have to solve the problem and you know this could be with someone that's you know in the past or someone that you just don't have access to anymore um and i found that you know when i get when i find myself in a situation where i just don't understand why someone would do something to me i just leave it at that it's something that i don't really understand but i'm also happy to move on and know that well there's got to be a reason i just don't have the time to investigate it or, or you know all the resources to to a lot to that um but yeah that has helped me deal with so many people especially in business i i run a video production company you know sometimes you talk with clients and you agree on things you know they sign the contract and you deliver the product and the product's great they love it but then they just you know want to go against the contract or want to you know treat you a certain way or don't you know sometimes don't really want to make the payments um, but they were so you know energetic when they reached out to you so sometimes i have to keep myself you know keep reminding myself it's i don't need all the details i just know what happened and i know that i have to make my decision and move on because if you keep getting stuck on every client or all every bad experiences you will not live long enough to see all the good experiences that's it for this podcast guys i want to thank you so much for listening um and also checking out my social media i am on facebook at hot talk uganda youtube at hot talk uganda uh, please subscribe there as well but thank you so much and i'll be uploading more uh, episodes soon take care for now bye